Well, yep, it's cold here today. Or at least it is for me. Ah, <sighs> the joys of losing the insulation layer. Let's get into it. Hello. Greetings. I hope that everybody is well and that everybody had a fantastic weekend. We'll do the business end first and get that out of the way. I have a uh, buy me a coffee. And I also have a PayPal account. These are extra ways for you to donate to helping me out where equipment is concerned you guys help fund the purchase of a vibration plate which i've been using now for a little while and there are things that i'd like to get in the future uh one of the newest things that i'd like to get is a grounding mat thank you todd michael and lindy yet again for passing on the knowledge to me i'm thinking that might be a valuable thing to get so that is the next thing on my list i want a grounding mat so I'm in research mode, but like I've said before, there is absolutely no obligation whatsoever to donate. None at all. None at all. I just merely put those things up there as an extra way of doing so if you choose to, because then we've got the YouTube, you know, super chats, super thanks, but the, ed the added sort of external buy me a coffee and PayPal by all accounts, people like to have those extra options. Okay, so not only have I put the links up there, I'll put the links to those two things in the description box below. Also, if you like my content, and if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and joining the madness. <laughs> I'd love to have you along for the ride and chuck us a like. And maybe a comment and if you want to be extra nosy like me click on that little notification bell then you'll know whenever I upload as soon as it gets uploaded and goes live and it's public and all the things so let's get into the video I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by doing the affirmation cards that I got for the last seven days I'm sort of beginning to think that maybe it might be a good idea to do those as a daily post in the community tab. Then you don't have to wait to see them. Plus, if you resonate with any of them, you're going to get that little thing, that little daily affirmation card in my community tab every day. And see, if you've actually clicked the notification bell, you'll know when I've done it. So rather than wait, I'll do them every day in the community tab and then you guys can look at them and go, yeah, that's me today. Or go, wow, she must be doing it tough today. Or dang. Either way, if I do them daily for you guys, then you may or may not get something out of them. But here are the cards that I got this week. then so if you've been paying attention chances are you have 
you will see that my gal pal Lindy from Limit Limitless Lindy and I are going to go live on Wednesday morning. Sydney time or Australia time or East Coast time, whatever. I don't do time zones. It's too much like hard work. Well, it is at the moment. I've been talking to Lindy quite a bit in the last few weeks about some little issues that I'm having in terms of, yeah, meat aversion. It, I'm okay with pork. I'm okay with lamb. I'm okay with bacon and eggs. But the porterhouse steak thing, oh, my God, I, I cannot face it. Cannot face it. So I found myself craving fish, salmon specifically. And my husband, bless his heart, went to Costco and he bought me, like you know, those trays of fresh salmon, not the smoked, just the plain fresh salmon. And I cooked up two pieces of that I'll put a picture here for you I cooked up two pieces of that and uh yeah kind of inhaled it <laughs> it was sizable pieces I honestly didn't realize just how hungry I was and I I literally ate this within 15 minutes I was like, <laughs> um, I've gone off porterhouse steak for the moment can't do it so you know, Lindy and I have been talking about it. She's got so much knowledge, so much knowledge. And I'm so blessed to have her as a friend. She's been at my end of the journey and her journey still continues. But the knowledge that she's obtained in this time is just... Is... So as we were talking about the problems that I'm having, I'm like, Lindy... This sounds like a live to me. She said, I think that's a good idea. Because, you know, I can't be the only one that's going, oh, mate. Mm. I just can't be the only one. So there are a few things that she's sort of passed my way. I want to go through them with her again and pass on that knowledge to you. And so does she. She really does. It's important that we have alternatives that were that are within the realms of carnivore that are going to help us get the nutrients that we need you know it's it's sort of like for me what it's been it's been a case of i've been omad for six months pretty much okay and i've always said that as my activity level increases that i'll probably eat more now the activity level has kind of increased but the food hasn't and it does concern me that I'm not getting enough nutrients. Even though I know I'm eating enough for my current activity level, I know that I could be having more. You know what I mean? So we're looking at alternatives on how to get those things into my body just to help me because I know I could be healing better due to the nutrients. I, ju I just know it. I just know it. And I just think that, you know, they say, listen to your body. I have been. And <laughs> it's kind of like a song. My body sings. And I've just noticed that in the last two to three weeks, the song, the key of the song has changed. It's been in a major key for six months. Now we're sort of leaning towards it being a minor, kind of depressing key. And the body's going, yeah, OMAD's great, but this isn't going to work going forward. So you need to listen to me now. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. And that's the sort of thing that, that Lindy and I want to discuss in this live. And obviously, if you guys have questions, we'd love to hear them. So yeah, go for it. We'd love to have you along for it. There's a note, there's a, a notify me thing for it. Yeah, it just would be great to go live with her and discuss these things because she's got so much knowledge, folks. She deserves your attention, simply put. And I say that unbiased, in an unbiased way. This woman's got so much knowledge. She deserves your attention. She has mine. And I'm so lucky to call her a friend. Really, really lucky 
to call her friend. And, you know, you get some friendships in your life and they are the really good ones are few and far between. But when you come across the ones that have you cursing the fact that you live apart in a different state or in a different part of the world, you know you've got a good one. And Lindy is definitely one of those for me. In the last, we've been talking regularly now for, I would say, four and a half months. And honestly, I'd be lost without her. I'd be lost without her. She is such a beautiful woman inside and out. And I'm really blessed to have her in my life. So yes, please join us on Wednesday morning. Having said that, I want to make it clear that we are both very busy ladies and the aim is to be there Wednesday morning. But if something crops up, it will be postponed to another day. Just warning you because, yep, we both of us in our separate lives, we've got a lot going on at the moment. But we don't put pressure on ourselves to stick to anything regimented, okay? So if it gets postponed, we will let you know, all right? So this week, with the losses and stuff and things, the measurements as usual all over the place, of course. The photographs are still a bit okay. I mean, they, the, the pictures tell a different story to the measurements and the weight. Now, I did put on 300 grams. I'm not fussed about it. Don't care. My stomach has not been great. Like I said, <laughs> my body has changed the key in which it sings. So there's a bit of inflammation going on in the gut there. So I need to listen to it. So, you know, it's natural. I would put on something, obviously. So I'm going to change things up with the presentation of the uh the measurements and stuff and the weight i've made it so that there's more images so that you can see more of it you'll have to pause it to look at it but what i'm considering doing considering haven't gone yes or no on it yet is that i may open up that google document for people to look at if they so desire Okay, and maybe just put in the words, numbers of what I've lost or what I've gained. We'll see how it goes. But I do realize that, you know, we're getting a lot more measurements and we're only just a little over halfway through now or longer. Um, but I have to be mindful of the fact that those spreadsheets are difficult to read. So we'll see how we go with this. So put your comments below. If you would prefer me to do this and still split it up into more pages so that you can see more of it or would you prefer me to scrap that give access to you to the google documents so you can look at it or you know and then i can put in just an image of the measurements i've lost where i'm up to in pounds and the measurements that i've lost and weight and all of that jazz in just one image and then you guys can go and look at the google doc if you want to all right but you'd have to email me for that link. I'm not posting that publicly. All right, just let you know. My email address is in the about section. Any of you can email me anytime. I've had a few emails. I will answer them. There's been quite a few actually. I will get to all your emails, I promise. Cross my heart. But without much further ado, let's get into other montage.
yeah, so there you go. <laughs> um, I've been a little bit stressed as well with things going on with my gut and stuff. There's been some stresses here at home as well. And I'm ever aware of my cortisol levels and I know they're not great. I'm not dealing with stress very well. And I'm trying to sort of aid in getting my family to understand that just because I can take on everything emotionally doesn't mean that I should. There has to be some sort of, um, what's the word here? responsibility for one's own emotions are concerned. I've got my own to deal with and it's not a case of whether there are some things it's like it's constant and it's like no, it's not a case of whether I can or I can't it's I just don't want to and I shouldn't have to so I won't. <laughs> um, I, I can't see it's the I can't I've got to change that I can't is mm. I won't. There's a big difference between I can't and I won't. I'm just continuing to stand up for myself and I'm continuing to try and protect my my peace. And the thing is, it, it doesn't just mean protecting your peace when you go out into that great big world. It means protecting your peace here at home too. You, you know, and that struggle of, am I allowed to do that? Yeah, you are actually, you are. And I'm finding my feet with that. Not easy, not gonna lie to you. The only other thing I wanted to say was that um, I've done two rather large videos on mental health. One was my rock bottom video and the other one was the, the one that I did last Thursday. Not going to lie, I'm exhausted from the last one. It was a lot and it was a long video, but for me, it was emotionally exhausting. I'm not saying I won't do another mental health video again, but it's going to be a while because doing the last one that I did on Thursday made me realize, oh, Okay, we're still processing some of that. So I'm going to need a bit of a break before I get into the really heavy duty stuff of mental health and specifically my mental health because, you know, talking about my dad and things like that, that was hard. That was hard. And even though it was hard recording it, I didn't actually cry when I recorded it, but when I read back my notes to my husband, when he got back from work, I wept, I cried. So I had a delayed reaction. It was a surprise, but I dealt with it. I knew that I probably would because I didn't when I was recording the video. Skills. Yeah, so I hope that you will understand that doing a mental health deep dive I won't be doing one for a while. I need to process what I <laughs> what I spoke about on Thursday. There are some things, some issues that I need to process and that's going to take a little bit of time. I think that's all for this week, folks. I I will say this at the end of every video just before I sign off. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I really hope you know that your the support I get from you guys is you can't put a price on it. You guys are fantastic. And I would love to hear more from you in the comments about what you're doing. You know, whether it's low carb, keto, ketovore, carnivore, lion, struggling, not struggling. Talk to me. I'd love to hear from you. I really, really would. Because it's not just about me. It's about all of us in this together. I mean, we may be the captain of our own ships, but at the same time, we're a ship in a fleet, hopefully all headed in the right direction 
forward momentum. So it's important that we check in with each other and support each other. So please comment below. How are you? How are you doing? Talk to me. I've got strong shoulders. I've got ears ready to listen. And I would love to hear from those that I love, namely you guys. On that note, I'm going to tell you to be kind to those around you. Protect your peace. Don't, and I mean just so don't take any crap, but be kind to yourself, even if that means just a little bit of self-tough love. I love you guys. I'll see you Thursday. <laughs>